Hello guys, you guessing it, I, that's the end of my expedition and uh, I'm leaving right now the Polar Circle, I'm on my way to Stockholm and in a weekend I uh, will go to France. I'm already missing it, I'm already missing the mountains and I'm missing the cold weather and so on uh, because I loved it, I, I really loved it, I spent two months there and it has been awesome and I would say what can be considered the worst is kind of almost the best you learn from everything it's, it's it has been simply un unexpectedly incredible really from every aspect every day I have a story to tell for every day I have a journal that I keep like a paper writing journal that I keep for every day Every day I have something to write. Every day I have like another anecdote, like some kind of small story that make this day a special day. And um, so I can tell you that there will be quite some videos uh, on this channel. And there will be like, the plan is to actually release all the videos, one every day. So it will take me a while to basically edit and get a bit ahead and get ready with all the editing but I got about a terabyte of footage so it's it's certainly gonna come beginning 2019 um, so please be patient uh, a few days ago I came back from Lofoten as you know I went there and the surprise was that uh, for me that was my first time trying hitchhiking and honestly it has been awesome all the way each hiking is uh, I will not lie I, I was not feeling confident about it but you know let's try it and it has been surprisingly awesome uh, it has been easy quick I mean you will see that on the video but uh, any if any of the driver that I that picked me up see that video thanks a lot uh, each one of you was awesome it was a pleasure to have met you and it was a pleasure to talk to you it made compared to taking the bus it made the travel of, of, of course cheaper but I don't really care about that part it made the travel quicker it made the travel much more fun and three hours or four hours of driving felt like 40 minutes of driving you know because you just enjoy a good time with somebody else and you meet somebody else discover somebody else so you have a lot to say and you have a lot to listen so it's every person is different and that's awesome to meet new people uh, Lofoten itself was incredibly beautiful and I don't want to say that the Swedish mountains are not beautiful but it's two different things Lofoten, I'm sorry for the for the background noise. I'm in the train, so I cannot do better. Uh, so what I want to say is that Lofoten, compared to the Swedish mountains, uh, is a comparison between visually beautiful and naturally beautiful. I don't know if I can make myself clear, but you see, if you're looking for awesome shots, if you're looking for like photographic scenic beautiful wherever you look like go to Lofoten because wherever you will look you will find a mountain you will find a stiff clip and you can get that awesome shot that is like super good on the Instagram profile uh, where in the Swedish mountains you will find those awesome shots but it's big it's a big area it's like not so high mountains it's not so epic as Lofoten can be uh, yeah however if you want to get um, outdoors if you want to get into nature if you want to get far from civilization don't go to Lofoten <laughs> it's like yeah you can get into nature in Lofoten but you will never get far from a village you will be always a few kilometers away from a village you will be always a few kilometers away from a road when if you are in the Swedish mountains and I think the best example is Sarek if you are in Sarek you are far from civilization and that's kind of 
the main difference. And to give you a bit of an idea, uh, I will take my bank card. And when I was in Norway, uh, when I was in Lofoten, I had my bank card in my pants pocket because I will use it. I will not use it every day. I will use it every few days. You know, like I will just go to a village and pay a coffee. I will, you know, buy a sandwiches or something like that, you know? But I will use it. I will be using my bank card. When, in comparison, when I was in the Swedish mountains, my bank card was in the back of my pocket. I was never using it so much. I was not using it that much that when I arrived to a shop in Abisko, I, you know, pass my article and go to pay, put my bank card, and then I'm like, oh, I forgot my account, my, my password. I, I did not remember my password because for weeks I haven't used it. And I, I literally forgot it. And thanks, thanks God that the, basically my bank could give me my password back uh, via the application. But I was like, I was like surprised. I never forget my password. And then I was like, at the cashier, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pay you by cash because I forgot my password. Anyway, so yeah, that's the end. As the end of the expedition. Until next time, obviously. Until next time, but it has been two months, which has been like incredible. And um, I think I think there is three people. Uh, there is a lot of people. I want to thank. I want to thank everybody I've met. I want to thank, you know, like every advice I got. I want to thank every person I have talked to because it's nice to talk with people it's like every hiker that I have met and maybe some people think that I have them more than but no it's I really enjoyed spending time with everybody I met and that's something I'm gonna miss because when you go to Paris or when you go to big city well it seems that the polar circle have some kind of like stupidity barrier stupid people doesn't go above the polar circle <laughs> it's not true but I like to think that uh, but there is three people I need to thanks the first person is <laughs> without this person I might not be there I might not be alive uh, and I certainly would not be where I, w where I would have been, where I would have done and so on. And that is Michael. And Michael has been my security contact during this whole expedition. He has been watching my back during this whole expedition, during this whole expedition every day. And giving me advice. And, you know, before I went checking me out and making sure that I had everything and making sure that I I basically had the knowledge to do it he, he gave me a lot of knowledge about outdoors and that's thanks a lot I, I'm like uh, infinitely thankful on that and without him I might not have been alive let's say like that because I might have taken risks that would be unneeded I might have made mistake and and he had been there to basically watch my back. The second person I want to thank is Eric. Eric, uh, it might seem normal for you to have like basically picked me up from Yalivare, but you know, you still made like a quite far trip from your place to Yalivare to pick me up when I basically got rescued from Sarek. If you would not have been there, I I basically after Sarek I would have been going back home I would have been going back home because I will not yeah I will not just spend weeks a week in the hotel and you have been like super kind to basically invite me at your place and for like I don't know I think I spent like two weeks at your place or something like that and it was 
awesome to have done this hike in the wood with you what an awesome time and uh, but without you without you I will not have continued after Sarek and I will not have been to Lofoten so thanks a lot really like you have been awesome so if you passed by friends I own you that one and then lastly obviously uh, for a person that basically didn't doubt that I'm that I would make it and uh, supported me on this is my fiance and uh, thank you honey for your help and uh, I'm sorry if I made you worry sometimes <laughs> I'm really sorry to not have called you or sent you messages when I got rescued during my rescue and that you actually was worried the whole time I didn't know that you knew that I was getting rescued um, but uh, thanks a lot for your help and uh, thank you very much honey I love you on that note uh, well my day count in the mountains are now finished it has been 48 days in total which is a fairly good number it has been two months I haven't been away from home actually exactly at that day two months ago I think in the 14th of September that's when I basically started that I was going to Stockholm or just around that date so two months two months in the mountains well I did it it has been as unplanned it has been planned but obviously as any good adventure plan change uh, but it has been awesome awesome and uh, I can't wait to edit those videos guys I see you on the next trip over and out